we have these two nouns book and teacher or book and Muhammad you will say kitabu al-mudarri si or if it is tanween here Muhammadun she Muhammadun it will become kitabu Muhammadin kitabu Muhammadin are you with me brother? Yeah, yeah. kitabu Muhammadin so brother Farooq this part which now in Arabic we call mudaf ilahi in English you can say possessor who owns the thing owner or possessor will always be majroor always be majroor you know that's why I emphasize learning those three cases you know uh, marfu mansub majroor huh? mansub is coming in for a book two okay majroor will come now if I say pen of Muhammad, then kalamu Muhammad, then pen of teacher, al kalamul mudarrisi, because it's al mudarrisi. Huh? Are you with me? Al mudarrisu became al mudarrisi. Kalamul mudarrisi. Kalamul will join it. Okay. Okay. The house of teacher. What will you say? Baitul Mudarri Si. Baitul Mudarri Si. House of Muhammad. Baitu Muhammadin. Okay. So, coming back to our basic point, Mudafilahi will always be Majroor. Mudaf can be marfu, can be mansub, and can be majroor. Huh? Okay? When you will see ex the examples in front of you, you will inshallah figure out. And then, brothers and sisters, the most important thing, the most important thing to bear in mind is the mudaf, which is thing possessed. Or thing owned. Huh? It's all in the key, brother. It's all in the key. Thing possessed will never have al. Never. And it will never have tanween. That's all. If you can understand this, alhamdulillah. We go to the lesson, brothers and sisters. And we try to do something. Yes, brother Faru. Uh, brother, if the noun, if the noun, uh, is definite, then you won't use tanmin, except if it is a proper noun. Uh, if it is a proper noun, like the teacher. How do I say in its marfu form? Al mudarri su. Make it into mansu form. Al mudarri sa. Make it into majroor form. Al mudarri si. Muhammadun. Make it into marfu form. Muhammadun. Mansu form. Muhammadan. Majroor form. Muhammadan. I will, after the break, I will show you a page that you should do this weekend. Inshallah. Huh? I, we have given you an exercise in the handout. Okay. Can I ask you one question? Yes. Um, now we say, supposing there's a pen, now we know the particular teacher. There's a student, you don't know which student's pen it is. So, Kalamu Talibi. Talibin. Talibin. You need so a pen of a, a, we know a pen of a student. Of we student. don't know who's. So we can use that. Of course it will come. Okay. But most of the time it will be definite. Okay. But indefinite is possible, of okay. course. Of course. Okay. Of course it's possible. But the page number 28 in your book. 28. Huh? 27. Page 28. We are not going to the main lesson. I am going to the exercises. 
Huh? I'm going to the exercises so that I want you to get a little stronger. Okay. Huh? Exercise number two. After having understood this, brothers and sisters, let us make an effort. It's very easy. There are two nouns on your right hand side. Huh? And there are two columns, brother? Yes. Huh? On the right hand side, huh? there are two nouns. And all of them are marfu. But as you can see, the first noun is indefinite. And the second noun is Totally definite. MashaAllah, that, that was excellent, Brother Samad. That, I want you to feel that way. You see two nouns, Kalamun and Muhammadun. Is Kalamun definite, indefinite? Indefinite. Inde Is Muhammadun definite, indefinite? Definite. definite huh? So you must feel that way. Huh? So all the names are definite nouns. Huh? And there are indefinite nouns in front of it. Are you with me, Brother? Yeah. Huh? Fine, Brother. We have been given an example. Kitabun Muhammadun. Are you with me? Now you make a possessive case. Make a idafa. What is given here? Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now follow that example and follow the explanation that was given to you. Kalamun Hamidun. Ha. How will you translate? Hamid. Pen. Hamid's pen or pen of Hamid. Now, Baitun Abba Sun. How will you translate? Baitu Abba Sin. Huh? Do it, brother and sister. You got to do it properly at home. Huh? Gurfatun Aliyun. Gurfatun is a room. Huh? Gurfa Tu. Ali, yen. Are you with me, brother Farooq? Can you do it, brother? Inshallah. Huh? Just do this exercise. Brother, sometimes, the, the, no, as I said in the beginning, this is, a, this is not halwa puri. <laughs> but these are hard chickpeas. But we will boil a little extra and make a hummus out of it. Huh? Okay? Okay? Inshallah. So, Daftarun Saeedun. Daftaru Saeedin. Are you with me? Daftaru Saeedin. Notebook of Saeed. Okay. Next one, brother. Mindilun Yasirun. What will you say? Mindilu Yasirin. Sister Fatima. Are you comfortable? You can do the exercise? Sister Naima? I'm not too much worried. Because you are a team here. You got... Eh? <laughs> so you are very strong as a team. Eh? You can help each other, inshallah. Eh? Okay. Kamisun Ammarun. Kamisun Ammarin. Kamisu Ammarin. Translate, Brother Abdul Qadir. Shahrdaf Ammar. See, you said off, but there was no off in Arabic. Huh? So in this construction, we get the meaning of off. Okay, brother? Okay, now, Sarirun Khalidun. Sariru Khalidun. Got the idea? Masha. Now come to the next column. Now we have a definite noun with Al. Are you with me? Two nouns, but one of them is a definite with al. Okay? So, <coughs> maktabul mudar, maktabun. First noun is maktabun. The second noun is al mudarri su. So, what will happen now, brother? Maktabul mudarri si. One. Huh? They, see, brother Farooq, it's a single. No tanwin here, because al is there. Okay? Al and Tanwin cannot come together. Huh? And especially what we are learning here that Mudafilehi is always Majroor. If it is a with Al, then it will have a single Tasra. If it is a proper name, then it can have Tanwin. Okay. 
Next one. Miftahun al baytu. How will you now change that? Miftahul bayti. What is the meaning of Miftahul bayti? Key of the house. House key. Miftahul bayti. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Next one, brothers and sisters. Dukanun attajiru. Dukanut tajiri. Dukanut tajiri. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Oh, very good. What is next one, brother? Baitun al muhandisu. Al muhandisu. Baitun al muhandisu. How will you now change it, brother? Baitul muhandisi. I think this is turning into halwa puri now. <laughs> okay, it's easy, inshallah. Huh? Ismul wala. Ismun al waladu. How will you say? Ismul waladi. Ismul waladi. What will you say? Ismul waladi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How will you translate? No, name of the boy. The boy. Huh? Name of the boy. Because it is definite. Huh? Very good. Oh, next one is very easy. Kitabun Allahu. Kitabullahi. Now, if I say Kitabullahi, what will you say? Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Huh? We have to get used to this term. Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Huh? Like, just like Jar Majroor, we will say Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Huh? Inshallah. Very good, brother. Bintun at-tabibu. Bintut tabibi. What will you say? What kind of a compound is this? Two words. Mudah, mudah. It's a compound. We, now we can call it as a compound. Two words. Mudah, mudah. Fine, brother and sister. Miftahun asayyaratu. What will you say? Miftahus sayyarati. Miftahus sayyarati. Translate, brothers. Car key. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got the idea? Huh? Yes. Proper noun is the name of a person, a thing. Farooq is a proper noun. Hassan is a proper noun. Muhammad is a proper noun. Okay? Are you with me? I'm not taking uh, brother uh, Abdul Samad's name. I'm keeping it in reserve. Huh? And I'll explain you the meaning of his name later on. Okay? Uh, inshallah. You'll be surprised by the things that you didn't know, you will know today, inshallah. Huh? Okay. Brothers and sisters, maybe I should explain now. It will be nice now. Brother? Brother, look at this. Abdun Allah who make it into idafa huh? Abdullah he. okay now I say Abdun So we have here brother Abdus Samad Samadi, but we don't say Abdus Samadi, but it is Abdus Samad. I always prefer to call him Abdus Samad because that is the proper name. Abdus Samad. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is his name, brother Farooq Abdus Samad? Brother Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> Don't call him Brother Mudah Mudafili. <laughs> but his name is, what is his name? Mudaf Mudafili. You did not know that, Brother Abdul Samad. Oh, here we have another Mudaf Mudafili. What is his name? Abdul Qadi Ri. Abdul Ka 
deri huh? another mudaf mudaf ilahi did you know you are mudaf mudaf ilahi no today you know you are mudaf mudaf ilahi are you with me brothers and sisters huh? Huh? Uh, you know a slave of allah and samad is somebody who's very independent he is not he does not depend on anybody the whole creation depends on allah but allah is free from all these depend uh, wants and dependency uh, he's above everything you know we need allah allah doesn't need us we need allah okay uh, yes brother what's the translation of uh, mudaf don't worry about that now huh? in simple english brother you say thing possessed possess and possessor possessed and possessor that will be the proper thing now huh? are you with me brothers possess and possessor thing possessed thing owned and owner like that brother what is this what is this brother mudaf mudaf ilahi are you with me what is it mudaf mudaf ilahi mudaf mudaf ilahi kitabul lahi now i am coming and putting here fi ma sha allah see harf jar no you got to tell me if i say harf jar you should shout at me harf jar ism majrur you will say ism majrur harf jar ism majrur huh? so harf jar came we should have ism majrur now so what happened now fi kitabillah you know why it happened huh? okay if i say min now now if i say to you uh baitullah eh huh? baitul lahi now i am putting min what will you say min bil baitullah you got the idea eh huh? so this is that is why i told you mudaf can have a dhamma mudaf can have a kasra mudaf can have a fatha depending on what kind of a role it's being played but brothers and sisters remember mudaf ilahi will always 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 be majrur it is always majrur class no change there so from kitabullah we came to fi kita billahi huh? and from baitullah we we came to min baitullah so you can use any name huh? now i'm going to give you little else huh? it will surprise you what is it brother ismul mudaf mudaf ilahi ha huh? brother now i am telling you i am using b what will happen now harf char ism majrur b is with or by what do you say every time bismillah or what is bismillah huh? first thing brother first thing is jar majrur are you with me what is bismi jar majrur now this explanation i'll give you and i'll make a funny story out of it huh? i'll make a funny story out of it it will make you laugh inshallah okay so 
Huh? We say Bismillah all the time. So brother, why does this mean Bismi? Why? Because Hafshar came in front. But Ismullah is mudaf mudafili. There is much more to learn in this, brother, with reference to analysis. Inshallah, we will learn. Uh, not not uh, now, but later on, inshallah. <coughs> but the point before we go for a break is that mudaf ilahi will always be majroor. Uh, and brother and sister, if it is definite noun with single kasra, if it is uh, otherwise, it can have a tanveen kasra. Mudaf, okay, will always, I mean, be without al. No al on mudaf. And no tanveen on mudaf. But it can have different vowel signs, depending. Kitabullahi fi kitabillahi. Kitabul baitullahi min baitullahi. Okay? Inshallah. Is it clear? Little tired now? Huh? We need batteries to be recharged? Inshallah. Let us take a break. Inshallah. Let's have a tea break. I want you to open the handout book, page number five. What do you see on top of it? Masculine and feminine. And what else? Cases. Cases. Huh? I would love to hear from you. I can see dun dan din there. What do you see there? Dun dan din. <laughs> what is dun dan din, brother? Marfu mansub majru. Are you with me, brothers? Fine. Now you see there are nouns given. The first the nouns are with tanmin. Huh? What is the first noun? Muslimun. And then how will you write down Musliman? Mansub form. And then Musli. Min. But when you have a mansu form, brothers and sisters, uh, mus li mus li and then I am adding here alif. I am adding here alif and making it Muslim man. But I added alif. Are you with me? That is a spelling rule. Only when it is indefinite, you will be adding alif. Make sure you do it right. Huh? How will you write down Musliman with alif? What is the next noun, brother? Sadiqun. If you write down Sadiqan, how will you write down Sadiqan, brothers? Huh? You will write down sa di ka, and then you will add alif. Okay? With two fatah. Okay? It's a spelling rule, so you should not forget that. Uh, what's the next noun, brother? Alimun. Alimun. How will you write on mansub form? Aliman. Ali man. How will you write on Aliman? Okay, brother. A. Li. Meme. And again, Alif. With two fatah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yes, Sister Fatima. No, no, no. Only if it is indefinite. Only if it is indefinite. Then only Aleph will come. But not, there are certain exceptions. I will just tell you right away. Okay, let's go to brother. Muslimun, then Musliman. And what will be next one? Muslimin. Muslimin. Now, this is masculine. Muzakkar. How do you make a noun Muannas? What do you do? Tamarbuta. Are you with me? So it will become Muslimatun. Are you with me? Muslimatun. And then make it mansub. Muslimatun. Now, Sister Fatima, no alif here. When there is a tamarbuta, you don't put alif. That's the rule here. A tamarbuta, even if it is indefinite, you will not put alif. But otherwise, you will put alif. Huh? See, you have here say kitabun. Make it mansub. How will you write kitaban? How will you write kitaban? Ki ta uh, ban. But you will give alif. Okay. Are you following me, brothers? Are you following me? 
This is the spelling rule. Huh? When it is indefinite and it is mansoor, the tanmin is coming, you will give alif. Huh? Only when tanmin is coming, we will give alif. Fine, brothers and sisters. Okay, then muslima tun, muslima tan, no alif, and muslima tin. Brother Farooq, are you with me? You follow. I want you to do the whole thing on weekend, brother. Now come with Al. This is a Fatima. What is it? Al Muslimu. All these nouns you will do again with Al. Al Muslimu. And next will be Al Musli Ma. And then it will be Al Musli Mi. Because Al has no Tanwin. Al Muslimi. Make it Muannas. Al Muslima Tu. Al Muslima Ta. Al Muslima Ti. No Alif. You got to do it. Are you with me? Easy. Okay? But doing this will make you strong and you will retain in your mind. Uh, when you will write, you won't make mistake. This is your homework for the weekend. Huh? Okay, now brothers and sisters, having said that, we come to the main, main lesson. Page 27. We will not try to analyze we will not try to analyze questions, but we will try to analyze uh, the statements. Now, I again want to tell you, okay, Jumla Asmiya begins with a noun. We are looking in Jumla Asmiya, Muftada and Khabar. Muftada is always Marfu. Khabar is always Marfu. But then we learn that khabar can be of different kinds. If it is one word, then it is marfu. If it is not one word, instead, if it is a compound of jar majru, then that shibu jumla becomes khabar. Huh? And we will learn one more rule in this lesson, slowly. But if it is one word, it will always be marfu. Only one word. Watch for it, brother. Okay. A kitabu Muhammadin hadha. Only this much. What's the translation of this? A kitabu Muhammadin hadha. Is this Muhammad's kitab? Are you with me? Is this Muhammad's kitab? Saeed is asking Yasir. Ya Yasiru. Ya Yasiru. Are you with me? See, Yasirun became Ya Yasiru. That is the rule which we will study in this lesson. It's very simple. But then, if it is a noun with Tanween, remember, if it is a noun with Tanween, and if you put Ya, which is called Harfunida, particle of uh, uh, calling someone, Ya, huh? okay, then the Tanween will change into single Dhamma. It's very simple. It's coming in the lesson, but we'll learn it inshallah. So Yasirun became Ya Yasi Ru. Huh? It's simple. This is very simple. What is the answer? Yasir says La Hada Kitabu Hamidin. Translate, brothers and sisters. This is book of Hamid. This is. I want you to use off. Instead of Hamid's book, use off all the time. Okay. Huh? For our un better understanding. Brother, what kind of a sentence is this? Nominal sentence. Huh? Where is Muftita? Hadha. Huh? And where is Khabar? Tell me, Kitabu? No. Kitabu only. Why? If the khabar is one word, mufrad, it has to be marfu. So, what is uh, here one word which is marfu? It is kitabu only. Are you with me? Okay. Now, in madrasa, you know, they teach, but sometimes, you know, they, they follow their own rules, you know. Since last three, four hundred years, many scholars also wrote grammar books in Urdu, and other languages, brother. Uh, and they were cut off from the main Arab society 
you know and they carried on the job of dawa and teaching quran and islam and sometimes they make some errors in, in their explanation so one of the student came from madrasa and when dr abdurrahim was teaching him this sentence you know uh, where is khabar uh, he said kitabu uh, hamidin but dr abdurrahim said but khabar has to be marfu you know he said no my ustad said the khabar is kitabu hamidin khalas <laughs> but according to the rules khabar when it is one word it is always marfu so where is one word here kitabu so kitabu is your khabar nothing else but then we will write down what we will write down we'll explain haza muftada kitabu khabar wa huwa mudaf and it is mudaf are you with me what will you write down wa huwa mudaf and then we will write down uh, Hamidin Mudafili. If I write down in a simple way, brothers and sisters, a simple, simple analysis. Brothers and sisters, if I write, write down detailed analysis, uh, okay, if I write down detailed analysis, then you will be looking towards the door. You say, no, no, I don't want to learn. Uh, when I, whenever I used to uh, uh, I explain some difficult rule and when I was teaching in Jami Masjid the in charge was brother Amjad you know I say brother Amjad have you locked the doors because I'm teaching a very difficult grammar rule I don't want people to run out of the door <laughs> anyway inshallah we'll learn the slowly it's a simple thing brother here okay haza what is haza what is haza Mubtada, Mubtada. Mubtada. Un. It's Mubtada. Okay, and what is the next one? Kitabu. See how I'm writing? Kitabun. What will I write down? Khabarun. Wa and Huwa, it is mudafun. Are you with me? This is a simple way. The, the detailed one we will learn in book 3, inshallah. And then, what is the next one? Hamidin. And what is Hamidin, brothers and sisters? Mudafun. Ilayhi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Got the idea? Mudafun ilayhi. Now on page number 23. Page 23 in your handout, we have given you four pages of simple analysis. Huh? You can see it from time to time. Are you with me, brother? You can see that thing from time to time. Huh? And this will show you how we do simple analysis. Are you with me, Sister Salma? Huh? Inshallah, you will look at it. Huh? But this is the formula. Haza kitabu hamidin. If you have to analyze it, it is a jumla ismiya. We are looking for muftida. Where is muftida? Haza. Okay, where is the khabar? Kitabu. But at the same time, Kitabu is Mudaf. So we mention that it is Mudaf. And if you mention Mudaf, then you got to mention Mudaf. And you cannot leave it in, uh, in the middle. Okay? Are you with me, brother? Mm-hmm. Fine. Very good. So page 23 at home, you will go through it and try to understand. It's very simple. You know? It's very simple. Some of them we have done it. Some of them we haven't done it. But when we do it, you will understand, inshallah. Fine. Aina kitabu Muhammadin. Translate, brother. We are not analyzing because it's a question. Where is the book of Muhammad? Okay. 
huwa huwa alal maktabi okay brother let us analyze it is it jumla ismiya yes what is huwa muftada it is marfu remember it's a marfu huh? where is the khabar alal maktabi what is alal maktabi jar majur shibu jumla are you with me jar majur shibu and what is hunaka over there what is over there it is called zarf what is it adverb huh now there are two kinds of adverbs and i will be telling you every time it comes i'll be informing you huh it is zarf zarfun what is it brother zarf i don't want to go in detail but today you say zarf later on after two three sessions i will then define there are two kinds of zarf brother in english we say adverb of time and adverb of place ha huh? okay and in in arabic we say zarfu zaman and zarfu makan it's very simple ha huh? so hunaka means over there does it tell you about time no it tells you about place so it's a zarfu makan that's all this is how will you explain na huh, brother how will you explain the sentence ha huh? you will say huwa muftada ala ala al maktabi jar majrur shibu jumla khabar and hunaka zarf aur zarf makan you want me to write okay now okay i'll write down i will write down many things now since you have said this is salma here i am writing watch it carefully What did I write, brothers and sisters? Read first one. What did I write? Zarfu zamanin. Two words. It's a compound. What do you see in that compound? Mudaf mudaf lehi. Do you see? Translate. Huh? Adverb of time. Huh? Are you with me? Next one. Read it. Zarfu makanin. What is it? mudaf mudaf do, do you see mudaf mudaf with a connection huh you see huh and then uh, okay then what's the next one harfu atfin but hasan you asked me the first day this i think huh? what, what is this harfu atfin i did not explain him because he had not learned mudaf mudaf with a huh? huh what is harfu atfin mudaf mudaf lehi huh? how will you translate particle of linking are you with me particle of linking so these are all the terms now you will be very familiar and you will understand are you with me brother because now today you know mudaf and mudaf lehi huh? <clears throat> brother you got to practice you got to practice and this conjugation Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got to practice conjugation, okay? And so that you know where the fail is and where the fail is, and you got to understand the concept of muda muda filahi very well. If you won't work hard, brother, then you will be singing. You know what will you be singing? You know what you will be singing? Hawa me urta jaaye. What did I say? Hawa me urta jaaye, mera fail or mera fail, ho ji, ho ji. Then everything will be flying, not staying in your head. Idhar udhar lehraaye, huh? Everywhere they are, 
in the floating in the breeze. Idhar udhar lehraye, mera mudaf aur mudaf ilayi. Ho ji, ho ji. I just made a fun song, you know. Because the original song is, Hawa mein urta jaye, mera lal dupatta mal mal ka. Ho ji. Okay? So I change into, to tell you, you know, if you all work hard, then you will be singing this. Hawa mein urta jaye, mera fiel aur mera fail. Ho ji, ho ji. Idhar udhar lairaye, mera mudaf aur mudaf ilayi. Ho ji, ho ji. Now this is the song of our childhood. So you young people, you have not heard them, you know. Have you heard this, Sister Salma? You have heard this. Huh? Okay. You must have heard yes. this. You know? <laughs> okay. Anyway, brother. So work hard, brother. This is an opportunity. Don't miss it. Work very hard. Put your heart and soul into it, inshallah. And Allah will bless you with success. Huh? This is a golden opportunity. Should not miss it. But the Faru. Uh, what's the translation of Zarfu uh, Makan? Zarfu Makan? Yes. Adverb of place. Huh? Okay, let me write down. Huh? Okay, good thing you asked me. Okay. Brother, adverb of time. Adverb of place. Makan. And then this is particle of linking. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Got it? Hmm? Atfin. Atfin. You know ataf? Which is conjunction? Atafun? Atfin. Atfin. Harfu atfin. Okay, brother, we go now. Aina daftaru ammarin. Translate, brother. Where is the notebook of Amma? Fine. Huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. Now I think I have to tell you a story. I thought it won't come so soon, but it has come very soon. So I have to tell you a story now, brother. Brother, here is the thing. Mak tabul mudar ri si. What is this, brother and sisters? Mudaf mudaf ilahi. Then the sentence is huwa. Now the jumla ismiya starts. Huwa. Are you with me? Huwa. What is huwa? Muftada. Huh? Are you comfortable with Muftada now? Huh? Brother, we got to become friendly with Muftada. Huh? They are very important. Okay? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Ala al maktabi. Ala maktabi. Ala maktabi. If there was, it was, if there was no mudaris, then I would have said ala al maktabi. But because there is a chain there, I cannot say Alal Maktabi. I say Allah. Okay, fine. I put here Allah. What will happen now? Harf Jar has come. What will happen now? It will become Maktabi. Okay. And then Mudarisi will stay as a Mudarisi. Now, brothers and sisters, we have to understand something. And I know today I have given you a lot in explanation, but I will be repeating them from time to time. There are two compounds here. How many compounds? Two. two. First compound is Allah Maktabi. And the second compound is Maktabil Mudaris. Okay? Fine. So I'm going to now do this, brother. Alal Maktabi. Okay, brothers and sisters. And then I will try to do in green. Inshallah it will come out okay, brother. I will do it hard, brother. 
But Akbar said, write it hard. So it will come, inshallah, better. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I made two groups. Huh? So look at it, brother. Ala Harjar. Harjar is a majroor. Where is the Isam majroor? Maktabi. And then Maktabil Mudarisi. What is Maktabil Mudarisi? Mudah Mudahili. So in other words, Maktabi is playing two roles. What is it doing? Two roles. It is playing two roles. Huh? The first role is that it is Ism Majroor. What is the second role? Muda. Mashallah, mashallah. That was excellent. So, what is Maktabi doing? Maktabi has changed himself into Dilip Kumar. Double role. role. Ramosham. <laughs> Maktabi is playing double role now, like Ramosham. Huh? On one hand, it is playing the role of Ism Majroor. And then it is turning around and making himself Mudab. Brother, you understood, mashallah, with ease, inshallah. Do you understand? Abdul Qadir, Brother Faru. Look at it, two compounds, but Maktab is playing two roles. So this is how will you, if you had to analyze it, you will say, Allah, what is Allah? Brother, what is Harpujarin? Mudaf, Mudafili. How will I translate? Particle of? Huh? Pulling down. Particle of pulling. Huh? Which is, when you say harfujar, it means preposition. What does it mean? Preposition. But harfujar itself is a mudaf mudafili. Huh? It's itself mudaf mudafili. See, now you understand. Mudafili. When you see it in this form, look at the Quran. Look at handouts. There are many verses from the Quran we have put where the mudaf mudafili is coming in Quran. Huh? Okay, are you with me, brother? So you say Allah harfujar, and what will you say? Maktab is a majru. But then you will again say wahua mudaf. What will you say? Uh, double roll, na, brother. Huh? See this thing, brothers and sisters. This thing you will always be remember. Remember. What will you remember? Wahua mudaf. Wahua mudaf. And it is also mudaf. So this is what it is. Got the idea? Huh? So we go to the sentence. Huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. Harf jar. Jar is to pull. Whether it was Dhamma, it made it into Kashra. Okay, that's pulling. <laughs> when, the, when the harf char will come, it will always pull the last vowel sign down. Huh? But unless the noun is stubborn and doesn't want to go down. We got a lot of stubborn. <laughs> they are stubborn. They will not go down. Huh? Got the idea, brother? Inshallah. 